welcome. I did it again. I managed to score a bunch of brand new science fiction masterworks, which are only available in the UK. So being in the United States, that's kind of a big deal. Also get authors that unfortunately a lot of American publishers do not publish. However, I feel like this is a little bit like a drug deal where the first set of books I got were really cheap and I got a whole bunch of them and it was amazing. I kept one of each almost. <laughs> it was just like at a super low price, I guess, to get me hooked. But the second time, uh, the price was not as good as uh, was neither the selection. So I didn't get as many. And that means that I will be offering these for $7 a piece instead of $5 like I did last time. I'm so sorry. Basically, that's my cost. <laughs> so if it goes above that, amazing. If not, then that means that I am passing these on to you guys because I know I got super excited to have an opportunity to have a collection of these and I am just passing that on to you guys uh, on whatnot which is over here it'll be at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday uh, 4 p.m. Pacific if you want to hang out with us cool if you don't hang out with us also cool I'm just letting you know and I'm going to show you what I picked up I was able to still score some Strigatskis. I did kind of buy all of them last time, so I was surprised that there were still any left. So the first one I'm going to show you, I'm going to try to do this in alphabetical order. I picked up another copy of The Star is My Destination by Alfred Bester with the tattooed man there in the front. A copy of Babel 17 by Samuel R. Delaney. This is my favorite Delaney. So far I reviewed this book on the channel, which I will link up above. Uh, I love this book so much that I actually picked this up in an, a leather-bound Easton Press edition, which is the only reason I didn't keep a copy of this is because of the fact that I have probably the nicest uh, copy I could possibly purchase with monies. Um, but I, great book. I picked up another Time Out of Joint by Philip K. Dick. A lot of the dicks were gone. <laughs> of course, that was because I bought most of the dicks last time, but I, I still have one, so Time Out of Joint there. We have Joel Haldeman, The Forever War, another Nebula Award winner that I reviewed. This one has uh, is a little bit rough. <laughs> like the first third of the book was really hard as a modern female writer uh, reader to read, but the ending was worth it. It was worth not DNFing because of the fact that the ending was so good. So I picked this up in the SF Masterwork Edition. Interesting front cover. Also, it's green, which is my favorite color. I picked up Larry Niven's Ring World. I actually have a vintage copy of this, which is why I did not pick this up. Although, I'm not sure if it's supposed to look like Mount Fuji or not. But it does look like Mount Fuji there, so there is that. This is considered one of his more famous books. Larry Niven uh, has written a lot. Also, I'm sorry about the landscapers. I can't do anything about that. Uh, I live in a row house and I don't control when they come and when they don't come. So hopefully you guys are cool with that. This is The Female Man by Joan R.S. I picked up another copy of this. I do have a vintage copy of this. Why? I did. I don't have one of these specifically, but this is her most well-known work. Very, very powerful feminist writer. I've only read one of her works so far. This is on my TBR. And uh, I absolutely adored that book. She ha is an amazing writer from just the one work that I have read from her. We have Hyperion by Dan Simmons. Uh, one of his most well-known works. Uh, I think this is supposed to be a spiky helmet. But this is like the thickest boy out of all of them. And now into the Strigatskis, because I did get quite a few. We have Hard to Be a God by the Strigatsky brothers. So I was able to pick up another one of these, which is awesome. I got The Doomed City, which I'm not sure if I picked up last time, but... I found a copy this time, so that's great. So The Doomed City by the Strigatskis. The Inhabited Island by the Strigatsky Brothers. Uh, again, I have never come across a Strigatsky in the wild, any of theirs. So this was a massive boon for me. And the only way I probably ever would have picked up, been able to score any of these books. Uh, this is Monday Starts on Saturday. I like this cover. This is very, this is giving very much Mother Russia there. I also, I did end up um, picking up two copies of this and I kept one. This is The Man Who Helped Fell to Earth by Walter Tavis, or Tevis. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. Uh, I know him from Hustler and the Color of Money. Uh, my partner is a big uh, pool fanatic 
and I like Paul Newman. <laughs> So I've watched both of those movies, both of the uh, his books, those two books were turned into movies, starred Paul Newman. I did not know he wrote science fiction, so I read the back of this and I was like, all right, I'll pick up one for myself and one to help find a new home. We have one of Matt's favorite books, uh, A Fire Upon the Deep by Verna Vinge. I do have a copy of this already. I have this book and the second book, but as he stated, this is a dense book, also a thick boy. And I got 40 pages into it before I realized that I would need to dedicate to where this is the only thing I read for like at least a week. Like this is it. Like I don't listen to any other audiobooks. I don't do anything else. I just need to read this because this is such a dense book and there are so many new ideas constantly being like bombarded at you that I was like, all right, no, I, I'm going to need to like sit with this book and like sit with it. But from the 40 pages I got into it, it is definitely worth it. Also, the cover's great here. Uh, let's see here. And then some Jane Wolf. So the fifth hit of Cerberus, or Cerberus, or Cerberus? Cerberus. Why are you why are you not focusing where you're supposed to? Focus. Focus. There we go. Can you can you do it? By Jane Wolf. I have this. And then this is very exciting to me. I managed to pick up volume one of the book of the new sun by Gene Wolfe and volume two. So this is all four books of uh, Gene Wolfe's book of the new sun. I'm selling these together. So because it's seven dollars a book, it's fourteen dollars, but you can have both uh, the shadow of the torturer and the claw of the conciliator. Uh, I, I'm not keeping these again because I did manage to find an uh, Eastern Press copy of Claw of the Conciliator, which I actually also bought on Whatnot. <laughs> Uh, so that's why uh, I'm not keeping a set. And then this is the Sword of the Lictor, I think. And I don't, the Citadel of, I don't remember what the fourth book is called. The Citadel of Arctark. Autar? Autarch. Autark? Anyway, these will be available together because I could sell them separately. But then if one person won one and then another person won the other, uh, both people would be sad. Or maybe not, I have no idea, you do you. But I'm so excited uh, that I was able to do this again. Um, again, it is a little bit more expensive. I'm so sorry the dealer did not give me as good of a deal this time. <sighs> Got me in there and then, yeah. But hopefully you guys will hang out with me uh, on Wednesday night. And if not, again, totally cool. Uh, I'm just super excited because you know, if these don't sell on whatnot, I'm giving them up on whatnot first. And if they don't sell on whatnot, I'll just put them up on an eBay store because that is how I make my living is buying and selling stuff, uh, mostly books. Uh, and But I also wanted to give a thank you to Rob. It is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. And the reason why I uh, wanted this book, which Rob was so kind enough to give to me, is because one, my mom wanted it. <laughs> which automatically piques my interest. And two, uh, Bookjack says that it's one of the top sellers in her store. Like he, whenever he finds it in the wild, he buys it. I've never been able to find this book in the wild. So I'm really grateful that I now have a copy of it. So Rob, again, thank you that this is not going up for sale. This is gonna go right here. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, the next one will be a review. So until then, bye.